In horror, one of the most effective tools in creating an atmosphere that scares the viewer is tension and suspense. This draws the viewer in and makes them feel unsafe even when all they're doing is sitting and watching. But how do filmmakers do it? Let's talk about it. Good evening everyone. I'm Michael Kraniger. Welcome to the channel. Suspense is integral to pretty much every movie, especially horror. It's a way to keep the viewers on the edge of their seats and wondering what will happen next. There are a few ways one can create suspense on the screen, and when put together, make for some good cinema. For creating suspense, we can observe and learn from someone who was widely regarded for his ability to create tension, Alfred Hitchcock. One of Hitchcock's most famous explanations of suspense is the bomb under the table analogy. And it goes like this. Suppose that there are two people sitting at a table just having a conversation about whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, take our conversation between you and I, for example. Now, suppose that it's revealed that there is a bomb underneath the table. Neither you nor I are aware of this bomb, but the audience is. And not only are they aware of this bomb's existence, they're aware of it counting down. They are painfully watching the bomb as it counts down, and when it reaches zero, that spells the end for the two people at the table. The conversation between the two is sure to be corpses continues on, each individual blissfully unaware of their own impending doom. The countdown on the bomb is almost finished. But still, the two characters continue their conversation so sure that they will indeed see tomorrow. The bomb's almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. The bomb goes off. Or it doesn't. What happens next depends on if you wish to surprise or jump scare your audience or not. By the way, I actually have a video on the proper use of jump scares right here. Something that can aid you in building suspense is music. Filmmaker John Carpenter, responsible for classics like Halloween and The Thing, originally showed his movie Halloween to film executives without the music. The executives responded to Carpenter saying that the movie wasn't scary. It wasn't until he gave it its now iconic score that it actually started sending chills up people's spines. The type of music you should use should start off slow and quiet and build and swell as you want your audience to feel more anxious. Allow me to pose two scenarios to you. Scenario A and Scenario B. Both scenarios are going to take place in this hallway. In Scenario A, you just heard a noise coming from down the hall behind that door and you begin to make your way towards the door to investigate. Now for scenario B, we're going to assume the exact same circumstances as scenario A, but this time... So, which one was scarier, Scenario A or Scenario B? Let me know in the comments. But of course, you don't necessarily need to use music or even provide a setup to make your audience feel anxious. In fact, I'll do that right now with the absence of sound. 
by adding a constant noise in the background, I'm giving you something that you can focus on, and I'm going to make sure that this noise goes on long enough for you to get comfortable with its steadiness. Your brain effectively turning the sound of the metronome into background noise. And then, without telling you, Don't worry, I'm not going to jump scare you. I'll save that for another time. For now, this is all just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you for watching.